Saliva with Beacon Valley Literacy Services. Tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys about spelling. I get a lot of questions about spelling from parents who have kids with reading difficulties. And it, it's a good topic to bring up. It's confusing because do we really need to be good spellers? Does spelling still matter with technology? Um, how come my kid like repeats the same spelling mistakes? What about spelling tests? These are all questions that I get from concerned parents. And tonight I wanna to present you with some information um, that can help you help your child. Okay. So basically spelling is a foundational reading skill. It's what we call encoding. And encoding is the ability to hear sounds and then complete the written symbol for a sound. So basically somebody says a ah, and a child writes the letter A and that's encoding. It seems really simple, but you put these sounds together to form words. And then you put these sounds together to form longer words, multisyllabic words, and then you're writing sentences. So spelling and reading are related skills. They're codependent. When your reading skills get better, your spelling should follow. Spelling improves when reading improves. So basically in the beginning, when your child is first learning how to read and write, spelling mistakes are common, but you know your child has a difficulty when spelling mistakes still persist over time. Um, spelling and writing is so important because it's just a form of communication. When kids first learn to speak, they get everything they want by just making the tiniest sound. Well, when spelling gets more complex and when communication gets more complex, writing and spelling are the way we communicate. It's how you express yourself, whether it's through poems or letters, it's just written communication. So spelling is still important. Um, problems that we have, like, well, my kid can just do spell check. Oh, technology can help with spelling problems. Of course it could. But our handwritten work and our spelling is judged by everybody. And spelling problems are kind of like symptoms of a reading problem. It's like when you go to the doctors and they check your pulse and then they listen to your heart for, and they take your blood pressure. They do all these tests to see if you have a problem with your heart. Well, spelling is definitely a symptom of your reading ability. So that's why um, these problems that we have with spelling tell us so much about how well we can read and how well we acquire the ability to read. Um, basically. What happens is, like I explained before, kids hear sounds and they write the written sound. Well, as reading gets more complex, writing gets more complex and we can tell if a kid makes a mistake according to certain syllable types. So if your child is spelling make, M-A-K, without the E all the time, it tells us that they don't have a command of the vowel consonant syllable type. So spelling is so important because we can see what kind of mistakes your child is making. We can predict what kind of mistakes they'll make when reading and we can directly teach it. So paying attention to spelling mistakes is very important. And like I keep reiterating, as reading gets better, then the spelling should also follow suit. If it doesn't, your child could have dysgraphia. They could have dyslexia. It's a red flag. It helps us understand what might be going on with your kid. Um, basically, there's five ways to view spelling. I kind of put this together so that way you have a quick reference. Um, if you like my page on Facebook and you drop me an email, then I will send you a PDF of the next information. It's five ways to really view spelling and think about it. I'll also send you a replay 